Hey, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to the Mercenary Emporium, bro. We're playing some Rainer today. Uh, and let's get to it. Uh, I think I'm just gonna slam down some fire bats, actually. Uh, I know, a little unusual. Um, not enough minerals. Make a little fatter formation here. Anyways, okay, that's about it. So, uh, brown modifiers, you can see here, we have our Merc compounds over here. So I'm just gonna hotkey them. This'll be two, and this'll be three. And then uh, we'll just get the research done there. I don't think I need to give the judge juggernaut plating <clears throat> to my fire bats yet. But yeah, um, we have uh, some Terran mercenaries that are permanent. We have some of these bad boys. Ah, we're against Farland, by the way. Uh, and we're also joined here by The Swarm. Oh, The Swarm changed his in-game name. It used to be like, uh, it used to be something else. It used to be Breakfast, but now it's like The Cure. Okay, well, oh, we're both playing Rainer. That is going to be fairly interesting, boys. Um, I guess I'll slam this down over here. There's a there's a sentinel. Oh, Farland's playing some. Oh, that's gonna be spicy. Oh yeah, the last broad modifier is bountiful, so we just have lots and lots of money coming in. So the reason why Farland's uh, gonna be really spicy with Karax, he's playing some Karax, is because uh, you can drop a beam. I think you can still drop a beam and like cheese a win here, maybe. Yeah, I think you can still, because like if you drop hybrid and then drop beam, like it's potentially very powerful uh, combination here. But let's see. What are we up against? Alarak! Well, that's not good. Um, look at the juggernaut plating here, I suppose. Um, get some more health so we can like burn Alarak down a little bit. We got one single fire bat. Ah, oh, damn it. It's over, boys. He's dead. He's just permanently stunned. Uh, but yeah, okay, anyways, I'm just gonna level up my thing first and then, yeah, that'll be okay, single sentinel, um, Alarak, oh god, well I gotta fly against Alarak, and it's gonna have to be, what does he have, Wrathwalkers, how do I deal with those bad boys, um, hmm, yeah, and also as soon as Alarak hits tier 2, we're in a little bit of a pickle, and a little bit of a pickle, boys. Um, a little bit of a pickle barrel. Then go tier two, and then uh, maybe I could just slam tanks. I don't know. Um, cause I I don't I want to do something with my mercenaries here too. I'll probably have to slam Hell's Angels actually, and they don't benefit from any of the Rainer Viking bonuses, but like, you know, they're still uh strong. Uh, Chicken Nuggets gonna keep Alarak alive, I think. Um, I mean, fire bats have a decent DPS, but like, yeah, not gonna be able to get through Alarak here. Boom. Um, and Boil here, just going straight for that Vorzoon air. There we go. I'm gonna go for another gas here. I'm gonna greed gas it up because it's double income. There's no point not greed gassing, boys. Upgrade. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think I think in the long run, what's gonna matter is tanks. So I'm just gonna slam a few of them. <laughs> I'm gonna slam them right now, boys. Put this one right in the center. Um, I don't know. I could probably get a medic or two, but yeah, yeah. Is that a Zagara? Oh man, these are not good matchups for Rainer, boys. Um, it's just cause like if I slam more boys, Alarak's uh, vanguards will just completely shred me. So I'm trying not to get too hard on the get too many vanguards there. Uh, oh, oh, that's okay, darn monolith, boys. That's okay, darn monolith. Farland's going for like carriers, carriers and or colossus. Oh, there it is. That's the carrier, boys. There it is, boys. Okay. Uh, Farland's air units are actually going to be a little bit better. Actually, tanks have a lot of armor, by the way, so they can actually deal with carriers decently well. Is Farland against our Vorzoon? I think Farland is against our Vorzoon. Our Vorzoon's going to need a void rays almost. Immediately. Uh, where is this? There's that. Okay, so uh, I don't think my fast siege benefits the the siege breakers, which unfortunately um, would have been great. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna slam those hell's angels there so I can, you know, maybe tickle the uh, tickle the carriers a little bit. Who knows? Uh, wait, does that benefit them? No way. Last time I remember it doesn't benefit them. I remember it does not benefit them, but I can do Viking research. Well, no, hold on. Did that change? Did that get changed? 
Do I do Rainer units benefit from? I mean, do the mer mercenaries benefit from the Rainer's upgrades? Because if they do, then that's crazy. Um. Okay, well, Corsairs are not very good against carriers, mostly because uh, carriers are quite strong. Um. Ooh. It's bleeding over into my wave too. He's gonna need some uh, void rays, boys. Uh. Get some voids. Breakfast here is trying to get some marines. Or not breakfast. The swarm here is trying to get some marines, but it's not going to work out. Uh, Farland's, uh, Farland's just going to purely uh, use the power of carriers here to just overpower our wave. Um, there we go. Can I actually get more weapon range on these things? No, I can't. Okay, that's what I thought, boys. I need... Well, I think Farland's going to be pushing into me, so what I'm going to need is actually battle cruisers. Battle cruisers are not going to be very good into Alarak. Actually, they might not be too bad. We'll see here. We've got some voids. The void rays should be helpful in the sense that, like, they are anti armor damage. They are getting focused down first. Like, because Corsairs do baby damage. They do seven damage. The carrier's got five armor at, at max rank. So it's like, what are you going to do about that? They're going to, like, literally get tickled. You know? Um, but, anyways, I'm going to go for. Some more of these guys, and uh, let's cauterize the area, boys. Let's see. Okay, so I gotta get call in the fleet, get the weapon refit. The weapon refit will be critical, and okay, get some more armor in my units for my vehicles here. Yeah, the guard's gonna be a little bit of a pain. That's okay. We got some siege tanks coming in. Okay, there we go. Get them to land, I suppose. Get them to land right on top of the tanks. Super Chad move, boys. No, they're gonna land and then take off. Okay, nice move. Boom. All right, I'm gonna max my armor out here. Come on, battle cruiser, figure it out. Figure it out, battle cruiser. He's got that 700 armor. I mean, 700 health. I wish he had 700 armor. Like holy. Um, I have three tanks here. They're just chilling. In the back. Uh, there we go. I gotta have to get some more battle cruisers, boys. Um, but yeah, for once, I'm not buying Rainer Vikings. I'll probably buy them in a little bit, but uh, there we go. Okay, but against Alarak, though, these battle cruisers are gonna be a little bit bad um, if there are Wrathwalkers, but shouldn't be too too tough to handle. Oh, Hybrid Behemoth coming out. I'm assuming we're gonna get beams, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna slam my own, boys. I'm just gonna slam my own. I'm, I'm under the assumption that a beam is gonna come out. I haven't seen Farland beam this entire time. So, I'm just assuming that that's what's gonna happen here. Boom. Battle cruisers here taking out the Havocs. That'll be good. Um, yeah, hopefully, Vorzun here. Does Vorzun doesn't have disruption web on her Corsairs. I can tell because they haven't used them. Um, should really get some of those. Uh, anyways. I'm gonna slam down some more tanks here. This is literally just a bunch of mechanized units here. Um, uh, yeah, slam another one of these guys. Screw it, boys. Oh. Did Farland do something? I don't even know, boys. Okay, my vehicle weapons. Uh huh. I got some battle cruisers here. The Yamatos are going to be quite effective against the carriers. Um, my line of tanks here in the back should be able to hold us. Should be able to hold us down. Um, they do 60 damage versus armored. Got that fast siege coming in. Uh, my hybrid here are able to hold things off a little bit. Um, Alarak himself on empower me over there. Uh, there we go. It's not too bad. There we go. It's just that I think I need to get my Vikings to start stacking up. I don't know. Actually, no, the Void Rays are starting to focus down the carriers. Not not bad, not bad. Oh, Farland just has to go now. Uh oh. Oh, that'll make things interesting. We're against Zagara now. And Alarak. Well, that's just. I'm pretty sure that's just Tank City, boys. Pretty sure that's just Tank City. Tank City with a lot of fire bats, boys. Tank City with a lot of fire bats. Man, it's only been 10 minutes in this game. The game feels so much more intense when you have a uh, Bountiful here. I like it though. It's good. 
uh, rather have a game that is interesting and intense than a game that is far too slow, boys. Anyways, Yamato's gonna take out Alarak here. We got a Yamato on the cannon. Okay. Um, okay, we got that. Okay, my tanks here are just gonna get slammed. Um, not sure what to do right now. We do have we do have a Vorazun counter thanks to Voil here. I mean, not a Vorazun counter, a Zagara counter. My bad. Other way around. Uh, I'm gonna slam another battle cruiser, boys. I'm slamming some cruisers. I think I'll put down some medics here, and they'll like help out at the front. Uh, with the fire bats, maybe with the battle cruisers, who knows? Uh, yeah, if Alarak gets some AOE as well, uh, the swarms wave is gonna be not long for this world. Um, hmm. I mean, even then, like the seed breaker itself is AOE. It's a hundred splash damage each time it shoots. I can't really manage that much damage. Uh, I'm gonna level up the infantry armor here, just a little bit, and I'll level up my weapons. Uh huh. Hell's Angels are gonna go for it. Um. Okay. There's like a single Wrath Walker over there. Um. Battle Cruisers are gonna cart like just warping in here. There we go. Okay. Well, you got a scan coming out. Not even from me. Okay. Disruption Web's coming in, but that's driving the, the explosives to my tanks. Um. Not the greatest, but that's okay. Manageable. Um, that's looking like the, the base is taken. Yep, there it is, boys. The void race. The void race, boys. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this week, Rainer, like the. I don't. I feel like there's less room to build bio. Um, then again, you can also build bio and go tanks or something, or build bio and go hell's angels. I saw a lot of energy left on my uh, capsule here, so yeah, didn't actually do the most damage. Uh, go figure, because I'm not playing something about. Ooh, didn't even kill the most minerals. Uh, but yeah. Sometimes a little battle cruiser. A little, little battle cruiser reaction is not too bad. Uh, but yeah. Slamming the tanks, I think, would have been like a good play game. So yeah. You know, I'm going to do it again, boys. Let's go. Alright, and we're back. Let's slam it, boys. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Slam me over there. Slam me over there. Two. Three. What if I just be mysterious and just don't open anything? Nah, that can't be right. Let's go. Let's get in some fire bats, boys. Uh, I'll, I don't know why, but I'm just gonna open fire bats because I just feel like uh, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit of a sturdier unit. There we go. Boom. Get that going here. Um, and actually, they're not too bad into like zealots if you do encounter just you know stuff, stuff, zealots out there. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna slam that. I'm gonna slam that. And uh, looks like there's a Tychus here. Okay, that's about all I know. Um, research complete. This one's gonna come up soon, so I'll research that one. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna mm, no. I'll get Juggernaut plating. And we'll just chill. Just chill a little bit here. Let's see what is the swarm playing as. We got some. Those are Artana cells, right? Yeah, it's got a little big blaster. We got the OG looking zealots here. Honestly, the OG looking zealots just remind me of like Alien from Alien vs Predator. We got that big brain thing going on. I think I feel like that was what was uh, being gone for here. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we got a mecha spore crawler. Ah. Uh, That'll be interesting, boys. Mecha Spore Crawler. That means we're against Statman. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think I know what I'm doing against Statman. We're going straight for Battle Cruisers, boys. Uh, okay. This might not be as good as before, though, because now Statman has access to some extra Vikings. Uh, thanks to Hell's Angels, but we should still be able to dominate um, with my own Vikings. Um, so I think the mercenaries I'm gonna have to buy is actually gonna be a little counterintuitive, but it's gonna be something that doesn't fly. So maybe I'll buy a bunch of Marines. I'm not sure, boys. Uh, oh yeah, because if I get something that doesn't fly, 
it'll be not too bad for me. It'll just shake things up for our, our opponents here. Um, and yeah, Firebat's not going to do too well to uh, what's going on over there. I mean, I guess they'll kill the Reapers with decent decent uh, effectiveness if the Reapers uh, don't, you know, fly into the sky. Oh, this guy's going straight for Hydralisk. What? Okay, boys. Well, he's definitely trying to go air. Um, we got a Colossus coming out here from Alany. Just raw dog Colossus, boys. Um... Do I have time to go battle cruiser? I feel like we don't. Uh, I screw it, boys. We're going battle cruiser. We're gonna go the greediest way to, to battle cruisers possible. Okay, boys. Let's um. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> the worst part, though, is they don't benefit from Rainer Marines. Like, like not Rainer, but like Rainer's uh weapon upgrades. So if I upgraded the armor. I, I know they benefit from weapons, but they don't benefit from armor upgrades. So if I, if I upgraded the armor, they don't get extra health. So these are just very expensive Rainer Marines, I guess. I don't know. Um, they're going to die to Gary's Igor. But um, hey, Marines are anti-air. What can I say? <laughs> Marines are a very janky form of anti-air, but they are anti-air here. Um, there we go. Take no prisoners, boys. Uh, maybe I'll just get the Marines to like walk in in a V formation, boys. Uh, we'll fill out one side of the V, and then we'll, we'll figure out the other one. I don't know. Uh, what else do we do here, right? Slam some of these guys down here. Got a single Marine here. Um, and uh, got some Marines coming out here from Han and Horner. I'm going to upgrade my vehicle weapons. Uh, upgrade my get my weapon refitted here, and then uh, we got some incineration gauntlets going. I don't know, boys. Boom, boom, boom. Weapon refit, boys. Yeah, so Gary is gonna be very good against my marines. Uh, no, <laughs> go figure. Uh, no duh, boys. Um, oh, there's a lurker here. I cannot believe you've done this. I cannot believe you've done this, boys. Well, anyways. Um, Caxus Colossus should be able to take care of things, so I'll just re I'll just rely on those. Um, it'll be okay. I don't know about Caxus Colossus into uh, Tychus though. I feel like Tychus is a little too good against that. Just like a few Vegas will handle it. I don't know. Even maybe not even few Vegas, like just a few uh, Cavs would handle it. I think. I don't know. So whatever, boys. Uh, I'm out here building battle cruisers, so I'm not really the one to talk, boys. <laughs> Ever since I discovered that battle cruisers actually aren't as bad as they seem, I have uh, never stopped building them. It's just, uh, ooh, that's gonna hurt over there. Uh, boom! I get incinerated gauntlets here. I could probably just build some more fire bats to support me, but battle cruisers handle uh, hydralis pretty nicely, and so do the marines. So there we go, boys. Get in there. Double Yamato on the cannon, that's going to chunk it down real fast. Unfortunately, Vega is going to steal one of my battle cruisers. Uh, that'll be it. Hammer Security is killing the battle cruiser that's been grounded. Certainly an interesting combination. Um, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't keep building battle cruisers now because I'm pushing into Tychus. Um, and there's a Hot and Horner, so it's just like multiple reasons not to do it. Um, just uh, I don't know what else to do right now, so uh, so uh, hold on, what's the range on this? Oh, Vega can definitely steal this. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna see if if they build more if they build more Vegas. If they build more Vegas, then then sure we'll stop it, boys. We'll stop it. But if no more Vegas are coming out, like uh, I'm game to keep building, buying battle cruisers, boys. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Marines on one side just got meltated by those lurkers. Well, that's okay. Um, uh, it's gonna Yamato. The Yamato Blaze. I swear to God. Um, 
I don't know how I feel about this, boys. Wait, I could just always buy Hyperion. What am I saying? <laughs> I could always buy Hyperion. Um, yes, there's always that option. I think with Bountiful, you just get the Hyperion faster, so... Um, now then, the next thing I'm gonna do is just flesh out this entire line. I'm just gonna have a fat line of fire bats here. Uh, and then we'll figure it out from there, boys. I don't know. Because uh, against Han and Horner, oh, Han and Horner's battle crew is gonna be a run for my money, so I, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need the other thing. The, uh, the good, the good stuff. I'm gonna need the good stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, that AoE just killed, like, most of that wave there. Marines are, are gonna benefit from the Hyperion for sure. The extra plus two damage is gonna be pretty good. And then, Marines are actually gonna be pretty good against Blaze if they survive. Big if. Big if true. Um... Uh, I don't know. Uh, a little death. Maybe I should build a little death fleet against Tychus here. Um, but yeah, I'm holding Tychus' units in position, and then the Colossus is just vaporizing him. Um, I don't know, but I do have to contest the Sovereign BC at some point, I think. I will need to help out uh, the swarm here. Actually, do I? Nah, I think he's got it, right? I think he's got it. Let's see. That's a, that's a pretty nice and layered air wave here. That's not going to be too weak against either of those things. Stemmon's got a Hell's Angel coming out. Um, only one, though. He spent most of his minerals on Banshees. Uh, not a good idea. I would say, at least. Okay, my infantry armor. That doesn't upgrade my infantry health. So, not as great. Oh, I forgot to scan here. Oops. All my guys that just died. Blaze getting Yonato. Unideal. Uh, Vega getting blasted here. Uh, wait, Sam has another grenade? How did he get so many grenades so fast? Oh, he has the Enhanced Hostilities Kit. Every time he auto-attacks, he gets it faster. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I got to do a tech switch, I think. I think. I think I got a tech switch. I don't know, I'm just sitting on a lot of cash right now. I'm gonna be sitting on even more cash now I'm gonna get my refinery here. Um, if, as long as I don't lose to the Statman wave, that's fine. Oh, but he's, he's, put, he's put out some hybrid. A little bit cheeky over there. Uh, I think the Marines are dying to the Lurkers over there. Yeah, they are. Um, I think we'll do just fine. What's Maybe. Up? I'm gonna blink back with my Hyperion. Okay. Um, let's go with that. And then let's go with uh, two Vikings. That's all I could afford, boys. Nice beam. Um, can I build these on the ground? I can't. Okay. Nice beam. But I would like to, so I'm gonna land them. Um, I think if I land them, they will automatically get up. Yeah, they'll automatically get up, so that's fine. Rip wave missiles filled with missile systems. And then, uh, this should be fine. Should be fine. I just realized I scanned in a little bit of a suboptimal position here. Um, I can probably still use some more fire bats, actually. Um, our little air fleet here is just going to move forward. Scout Tychus. There we go. Boom. Hammer securities are actually very good against the grounded battle cruisers. Uh, go figure, boys. Um, Sam here, enhanced hostilities kit. I think actually, I've never actually bought that against Tych uh, as as uh, Tychus against uh, Hyperion. So that's actually a very good idea. Because otherwise, you just have to buy two Sams. This is much better, much more economic than buying two Sams. Um, but yeah. I'm actually going to get some more Marines. As bad as it might look. Um, I think the Marines will help with quite a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, my infantry armor one more time. And then, uh, I don't know. Got a load of hybrid. Firebat's going to take care of that. There we go. Oh, we have detection over here. Oh no, focus strike algorithm. Just gonna murder my marines there. 
Um, oh, what can you do, boys? What can you do? I can at least hope to kill off the air units here. Let's see. Um, boom, boom, boom. I think I might just keep buying battle cruisers, honestly. A handful of Vikings and a few more battle cruisers. Um, I mean, Karax has just decided to, like, ignore everything and buy Colossus. Which is why Han and Horner's wave is surviving entirely. Like, unscathed. Okay, that battle cruiser came into existence. There we go. I don't know. What is it? So basically, Karax is just saying, screw it. Screw, screw my teammates. Uh, Alright, I love that. Uh, I probably could use some more fire bats, actually. Like, they'll shield the marines to an extent. Uh, yeah, it'll shield the marines to an extent, I think. Oh, I have my Yamato up. Hold on. Whoa. There we go, Yamato killed the Sams, I think. Uh, a little beam coming down here. I got a mind controlled battle cruiser. Um, okay, yeah, hold on. Let me just. That's a lot of fire bats I could just afford there. What the heck? Uh, there we go. I think Farland had something to do. Are those Colossus seriously gonna. Man, that did a lot of damage. Um. Oh, I'll be going for a while. If you guys catch me, I think I have a new schedule now. I think where I'm just gonna be working at like in the AM hours on a sun on a Friday morning, which means like I guess if you guys are in the in Australia, the AM hours for you would be the PM hours, but the equivalent number on the other side. I don't know. Uh, Fire bats not very gonna be not gonna be very good against those hammer securities. Um, they are practically gonna tear it up here. Uh, actually, hammer securities might not actually be too bad. Um, of a buy here for uh, for Tychus. Um, Samry going in the biz. Um, I'm gonna slam more Marines, man. Die, 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 boys. Why would the Marines say die, die, die if they didn't want me to buy them, you know? Um, anyways, the Colossus are just going to. Man, you know what? This absolutely whack Colossus strategy actually worked. It actually worked. How did that actually work? It just went right past Hunhorn and was like, BAM! Hunhorn should have just got Deimos Vikings. I don't know, man. Like, if you're gonna go pure air, either buy all Sovereign BCs with the b big Yamato, or just go Deimos Vikings. I don't know. Like, I don't feel like Galleons are really that great unless you have a solid line of units in the front, which Han and Horner did not. Um... But yeah, that was wild. Those Colossus just went right past everything. Well, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. Um, this Marine has 7 kills, so leave a like for 7 kill Chad Marine over there. I don't know how you... Oh, that guy's 9 kills. Whoa, okay, hold up. These guys have more kills over here. But yeah, we got some... Oh, that guy's got 12 kills. Man, these Marines are crazy. That guy's got 13. What? Anyways, yeah, leave a like for, for 13 kill Marines. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fight.